If you thought the latest images from the James Webb Space Telescope were impressive, what you are about to hear changes the scale of everything. A new space telescope has quietly begun sending back images so vast in scope, so precise in detail, and so revealing in consequence that many astronomers now admit they were not fully prepared for what these observations would uncover. The Euclid Space Telescope has released its first light images. And these images do far more than display distant galaxies glowing softly in the dark. They expose hidden structures that were never meant to be seen directly. They reveal patterns shaped not by light, but by invisible forces. And they present a universe that feels far more complex, far more structured, and far less comforting than we once believed. Euclid was never designed to chase a single nebula. It was not built to focus on one iconic galaxy or produce a single breathtaking portrait. Its mission is far more ambitious. And far more unsettling. Launched by the European Space Agency in July of 2023, and stationed nearly 1.5 million kilometers from Earth at the Lagrange Point 2, Euclid does not orbit our planet. It watches the universe from afar. Stable. Cold. Silent. Euclid was built to map the universe itself. Not fragments. Not isolated regions. But the vast, interconnected architecture that spans cosmic distances. Its wide field of view allows it to observe enormous regions of the sky in a single sweep. Areas so large that previous telescopes could only study them piece by piece. Yet at the same time, Euclid resolves individual galaxies with remarkable clarity. Spiral arms. Faint halos. Subtle distortions barely visible until now. This rare combination allows scientists to see both the fine details and the grand cosmic structure at once. What makes this deeply unsettling is that Euclid is not merely mapping what emits light. It is mapping the influence of dark matter. Something invisible. Something undetectable. Something that does not glow, does not reflect, and does not reveal itself directly. Dark matter is known only by what it does to everything else. By measuring subtle distortions in the shapes of distant galaxies, distortions caused by gravitational lensing, Euclid reveals where dark matter is concentrated. In essence, it is exposing the hidden framework of the universe. A vast cosmic skeleton constructed from something we cannot see and still do not understand. When Euclid sent back its first massive mosaic of the southern sky, researchers were stunned by the sheer scale of it. In a relatively short observing window, the telescope captured hundreds of images, covering an area of sky hundreds of times larger than the full moon. Stitched together, these images revealed millions of galaxies, each one a massive system of stars, gas, dust, and unseen matter. And this monumental view represents only about 1% of Euclid's planned survey. That fact alone is deeply unsettling. What we are seeing now is not the universe in full, but a tiny fragment of something almost incomprehensibly larger. And one of the most striking early results came from Euclid's observations of the Perseus Cluster. A massive gathering of galaxies located roughly 240 million light years away. In a single frame, Euclid captured over a thousand known galaxies, along with more than 100,000 background galaxies far beyond them. Systems so distant their light began its journey hundreds of millions of years ago. But the true surprise did not come from what was already known. It emerged when astronomers analyzed the data more closely. Hidden within the cluster, Euclid identified hundreds of previously unknown dwarf galaxies. Faint. Fragile. And almost impossible to detect with earlier instruments. Their discovery matters deeply. Dwarf galaxies are extremely sensitive to dark matter. Their shapes, their motions, and even their survival depend on invisible mass. They act like tracers, 
cosmic indicators revealing where unseen matter is concentrated. And the sheer number of them suggests that dark matter's structure is far more intricate and far more clumped than scientists once expected. Euclid's reach does not stop at distant clusters. It extends closer to home. In nearby galaxies, it detected ancient, low-metallicity stars, stellar relics formed under conditions similar to those of the early universe. In globular clusters, Euclid resolved faint stars long lost in the glare of brighter neighbors, offering new insight into the Milky Way's deep history. And in regions like the Horsehead Nebula, Euclid's sensitivity hinted at something even stranger, free-floating planetary mass objects. Rogue planets. Worlds without stars. Drifting silently through interstellar space. Once thought rare. Possibly common. As scientists stitched together more of Euclid's data, a disturbing pattern became impossible to ignore. Galaxies are not scattered randomly across the universe. They form vast filaments stretching across hundreds of millions of light years. These filaments intersect at dense nodes where galaxy clusters form, leaving behind enormous regions known as cosmic voids. This structure, the cosmic web, becomes unmistakably clear in Euclid's images. A colossal network. Matter flowing along invisible pathways. Dominated not by stars, but by dark matter. Everything we see is trapped within this structure. Guided. Shaped. And constrained by forces we still cannot directly detect. One of Euclid's most powerful abilities is its precision in measuring gravitational lensing. By tracking minute distortions across millions of galaxies, Euclid reveals massive regions of dark matter warping space itself. These structures outweigh everything we can see. Yet they remain completely invisible. They emit no light. They reflect none. And yet, they dictate the motion, the formation, and the evolution of entire galaxies. The unsettling truth is that the dominant substance in the universe is something we cannot interact with directly. Euclid also peers deep into cosmic time. Some galaxies in its first images are more than 10 billion light years away. Their light began traveling when the universe was young, chaotic, and rapidly evolving. By observing ancient and nearby galaxies in the same frames, scientists can trace how cosmic structure evolved across most of the universe's history. Early results suggest that galaxies and large-scale structures formed faster and earlier than expected. Dark matter appears to have organized itself quickly, forcing scientists to reconsider how cosmic evolution unfolds and whether our understanding of gravity itself is complete. Perhaps the most unsettling fact is this. Everything revealed so far comes from roughly 1% of Euclid's mission. 99% remains unseen. Over the coming years, Euclid will continue scanning the sky, refining structures, and exposing patterns we may not yet know how to interpret. If 1% already challenges our understanding of dark matter, dark energy, and cosmic evolution, the full picture may be overwhelming. What Euclid ultimately reveals is not a chaotic universe, but a deeply ordered one, governed by unseen rules. And that is what makes it unsettling. Most of what matters is invisible. Most of what shapes reality lies beyond our senses. The universe we inhabit is built on foundations we are only beginning to glimpse. And this is only the beginning.